One thing I've noticed recently is that we're getting a lot of remakes. Like, just look at this year. I mean, we recently got the Resident Evil 3 remake, the Final Fantasy 7 remake, we're getting Trials of Mana, and uh, we're getting a SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom remake. There's probably more I'm not even thinking of right now. So I thought it was a good time to count down the top 10 best remakes of all time, in my opinion. Now keep in mind, these games have to change the original game more than just the graphics. The graphics are just considered remasters. They have to add new stuff, whether it's changing the controls, improving it for the better, as you'll see for some of these games, or making it almost a completely different game, like a reimagining. So, anyways, let's get right into this. Welcome to the top 10 video game remakes, greatest ones of all time. I butchered that title, but you, you saw the title of the video, anyways. Before we get started though, you know what to do, be sure to like this video, subscribe for new turn on notifications, and leave a comment, and you'll be a loyal subscriber. And I, I wanted to give to you, in the last part of your notes here, the significance spiritually of the number 10. Now, I almost actually included AM2R, but that's a fan game, and if I included that, the rest of the list would have been different. However, number 10 is the real reason Nintendo took down AM2R. Probably the real reason. And that's Metroid Samus Returns. Let's be real, this was at a time where Metroid was seemingly dead, unless you count Federation Farce. We haven't gotten another Metroid game since Other M, which was divisive to say the least. Metroid Samus Returns got Metroid to, well, return to its glorious fashion, remaking a game that really did need it. Metroid 2 Return of Samus on the Game Boy is a fun yet somewhat outdated game on the Game Boy and Samus Returns changed a lot when it came out and changed a lot of how it played which is probably what it needed the most. This is one hell of a remake. Nine, 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 nine. Will Half-Life 3 ever happen? Probably not. I mean, they could have teased it in Half-Life Alex. I don't know, haven't played that one. Though, based on the reviews, I probably should get a VR headset and play it. And while Half-Life 2 is, in my opinion, up there in like the top five greatest games of all time, the first one ain't too bad either, however, it is still kind of dated and janky when it comes to playing it. But that's where Black Mesa comes in. Now despite me not putting AM2R on the list due to it being a fan remake, Black Mesa is also a fan remake, but this time Valve actually endorsed it and gave it the okay to be sold on Steam, so it counts for the list. Black Mesa was actually in the works for 8 years, almost a decade, god damn, but just finished recently about like, I'd say like a month ago, but even when it was early access, it was still awesome. While it's mostly a 1 to 1 remake with some additions to the gameplay, it looks awesome. It isn't higher though, because the facial animations and the load times are an issue, but it's a nice remake of a game that did kind of need one. So I'm gonna be giving this flavor eight and a half out of 10 scoops. You know who are really great? Insomniac. One game they have is Ratchet and Clank, and they remade it a number of years ago. And it's awesome. Though it may be a bit more of a remaster or a reimagining than a full-on remake, it adds in items from other Ratchet & Clank games that weren't in the original, as well as adding completely new weapons like the Pixelizer that everyone seems to love. Not to mention, the game is absolutely gorgeous, and the new animations are a nice addition too. Combine that with a nice soundtrack, and you got a great way to play Ratchet and Clank. Now we just need a brand new game. 36. Very close, but that's not going to carry the retard. What number between two and four? Seven. Going back to Samus Returns for a second, 
I also never mentioned that part of the reason that remake was so necessary was also because Metroid 2 was a Game Boy game, and those, while great, most of them, are begging for remakes. So here is Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is really awesome as it adds a lot to the original Game Boy game. There's a ton of new changes like the cute looking art style, the more 3D perspective, and even a dungeon maker. Possibly testing the waters for a Zelda Maker game a la Mario Maker somewhere down the road. P.S. That may or may not have something to do with my next top 10 that I'm planning. Just throwing that out there. Link's Awakening is one hell of a remake of a game that, despite how good the original is and how surprisingly well it has held up, at least compared to other Game Boy games, it did really need a remake, and we got a great one. Okay, Mrs. Puff, what's my final score? Six. Woo! A remake usually serves the role to redo a game to make it hold up better today. However, sometimes it serves the role of making a series more relevant again. Such is the case with the Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy. First of all, there's not just one game remade, but the whole original trilogy is remade. This might seem like a remastered collection, but each three games were remade from scratch, and it now looks more beautiful than ever. While the original three Crash games have held up pretty well, the Insane Trilogy brings a new feel and look to the games that was much needed. Needless to say, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy accomplished its goal in not only remaking Crash for modern gaming, but also making the series relevant again. Now let's hope we get a brand new Crash game. I mean, it's rumored for the PS5. Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five. One series that has a lot of games remade is Pokemon. I mean, there's a lot. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Fire Red and Leaf Green, Park Gold and Soul Silver. That's the one on the list. Pokemon Gold, Silver, and, I mean, well, Crystal, which got left out are arguably the best Pokemon game or games, however you look at it, of all time. So that probably makes the remakes arguably the best Pokemon games in the series. Heart Gold and Soul Silver takes the original games and cranks them up to 11 by being much smoother and looking way better. As for how it plays, well, it just plays how you'd expect a DS version of a Game Boy Color game to play, but that's not a bad thing as it plays very well. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver are Pokemon games any fan should absolutely play. I'm sure you have already. I shouldn't really be telling you this. Seven, five, number four. Ah, yes. Resident Evil is another series that has many remakes, like the first three games, and a remake of the fourth one that's in the works. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they can necessarily pull that one off, not quite sure if it needs it, but that's not we're going to talk about. At number four, however, is going to be the first Resident Evil, the remake of the first one, yeah. This took a really good but also really dated game with its controls and revamped it for modern gamers well i say modern but this came out in 2002 but you get the idea as the remake has held up really well today and better than the original i mean obviously not to mention it looks great sounds great and yeah i already mentioned that it controls great too Resident Evil 1 Remake is one remake that shows how different and how much better a remake can be. And that's why it's at number 4.
Shadow of the Colossus is probably one of the greatest games on the PS2. Some might even consider it of all time. However, I do see some major flaws in the controls. I mean, how come triangles jump? Anyways, it was still a really good game. And as Shadow of the Colossus indeed was remade on the PS4. And not only did it fix the controls, it's also gorgeous as well, and even made the game bigger. Let's go down those. Seriously though, the controls are a hell of a lot better. And the landscape is also much bigger this time around, giving you much more places to go. It also looks really fucking good. And the original didn't even look that bad, so... This looks even better. Shadow of the Colossus was a must-own for the PS2, but because of how well it was revamped on the PS4, you already know what it is. What kind of pencil do we take again? Number two. Take a number two. <laughs> Looks like you took a big number two. I'm sure I already got a few comments about how I put Resident Evil 1 instead of Resident Evil 2. But jokes on you because both are on the list as number two is Resident Evil 2. If there was any remake that made me realize how different and how much better a remake can be, first, like the first game that made me realize that was Resident Evil 2. Take more of a top down survival horror title with the original Resident Evil 2 and turn it into a third person shooter survival horror game. I am quoting myself, of course, from the top 10 best games of 2019, in which this game placed number one in, by the way. That should say another thing. We need more remakes like this. While story-wise, it's, I mean, reasonably enough the same as the original, the new third-person perspective makes this game vastly different from the original version, and you also get to choose between Leon and Claire, which both are actually like completely different games. They have their own play styles, and therefore, they control differently, so they're two different experiences. There is also the fear of any zombie popping up out of nowhere, and just stuff like that makes this game number two on the list. In fact, if I made this video like a month ago, Resident Evil 2 would be number one. I know I just made this like really obvious, like what number one is gonna be, but before we get there, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Maybe it's because of how recent it is, so maybe if I made this list a little later, it wouldn't be here, at least this high. But, I really do think that the Final Fantasy VII Remake is the best remake of all time. Despite how perfect the original Final Fantasy VII is and how well it's aged to a certain extent, it could do for a remake, like a reimagining almost. Although, this is labeled as a remake, and it is pretty much a remake, to a point. The Final Fantasy VII Remake takes the original and makes it barely an RPG, but more of a third-person action-adventure game with commands. Not to mention the story. Oh boy, there's a lot to unpack with that one. So much so that I'm planning on making a spoiler talk about the ending as it teases something we will not expect. I'm not quite sure what it's teasing, but that's the point. We are not gonna see it coming. Throw that in with the stellar remixes and the beautiful visuals, and you have, in my opinion, 
the greatest video game remake of all time. So that was my list. Yes, this video might get out of date in a little bit, so who knows, maybe even I'll have to remake this list in a matter of time. I don't know, but let me know what you think the best remakes in video games are. Anyways guys, be sure to like this video, come subscribe, follow me on Twitter, uh, join the Discord server, follow me on Letterboxd, don't really plug that one so much. Subscribe to my friends, my other channels, everything's in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye!